Hello, I'm gonna show you how to make a decent ragdoll. Um, so right now I have, right, I have a full system here. But if you wanna make a ragdoll from your master character, you take your master character, this one, and you make a copy of it. From Control D on the PC, and you drag it aside like that. Mm, so there is our copy of the master. I call him Master Two now to separate him. Mm. Yeah, of course, you can run it all. Um, so I clean this from all components, because I want just a ragdoll now. So I take, remove all components. And remove the audio listen. And in Unity, you can make a ragdoll from a character like this with game object, game object, create other, create ragdoll. So, from us to expand the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And just apply the transforms to the uh, Unity Ragdoll Wizard. Root is the hips, left hips is the left up leg, the left knee is the left leg, and the left foot is the left foot. Right hips is right up leg, right leg, right foot, left arm is left arm, elbow is left forearm, right arm is right arm, right forearm, right elbow, middle spine is spine one, head is head. I say this will weigh 80 kilos and I will create it. So that's a ragdoll but it looks like the Michelin man. So I will adjust the sizes of all these colliders by choosing spine one, no, just hips, and I adjust the size of that one. It's a blue arrow, it's said, so I take this to be 0.28 something, maybe. Six. About that. Spine one also point twenty eight. And I continue with all the limbs. I continue with the left up leg, adjust the radius. Point to weight. 
leg radius 0.06 maybe right up leg 0.28 right leg 0.6 Left arm and six five one two four and also I will adjust the length of this one. So I take minus point fourteen maybe and the height and to twice that. 0.28 something like that in spool right arm 6 4 minus 0.14 <clears throat> 0.28 and that's about it for the sizes i may also want to adjust the the length of the legs so that the collider almost touches the ground so i might just do that it's left leg and it's right leg and it's not right leg i do Minus point twenty six and twice that here point fifty two maybe and also for the left leg minus point twenty six So, I don't like right arm, why don't I like right arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, right. So that's a decent ragdoll as far as the colliders are sized. You may want, want to do some more adjustments, but that's decent. And also, maybe for the head, you want to do some adjustments. But it's good enough for now. The next thing is to adjust the character joints so that the the rotational limits are correct and I have included some working limits but you need to adjust the axis the orange and the green ones as they are on this model you can see that I have all the orange arrows pointing to the right to the figures right or upwards on the arms I will do the same here. I think most of these are correct from the get-go, except for the elbows. And you could use them like this, but you can't use my numbers in the README manual. So I will change these, and it's the forearms. I want the orange arrow upwards, that is the Z axis. And I will go to the character joint, put the axis in this Z direction. See, it's now pointing upwards. And I want the green arrow in the minus 
y axis minus y so this is x y z yes that's so 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 that one now points up all the green arrows all the green arrows should point forward see all the green arrows are pointing forward and i will explain why in a minute and for the right arm now the right forearm i want the orange arrow upwards this it's the first axis and it's minus z minus z and this one is then zero i have the orange upwards and i want the green arrow pointing minus y minus y you see now the green arrow point forward the orange upwards all the orange arrows are to the figures right or upwards now you can use the rotational limits i have included in the readme file so these are decent limits to use for ragdoll see if I can see both at the same time something like that so I go left thigh, left thigh is Ethan Master 2 left left thigh is that that's the left up leg So I go minus twenty for the low limit. Ninety thirty thirty. Left calf is left leg. So minus one. Forty zero ten thirty go to right up leg see here minus twenty ninety thirty and Right leg is minus one forty. That's a lot. Zero ten. For some models, you might want to lose them, loosen them, these ones even more. So that it's not constraining the animations if you're using an in follow script on this state. That's correct for that one. And then we have the spine one minus 30, 20, 20, 30. The head. Minus forty, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 
left biceps is that one. So it is minus one hundred. Sixty, sixty, and fifty. These are just approximate numbers, but they are way better than the, the standard unit ragdoll, which doesn't work. It's too constrained. I was left biceps. I want to go left forearm. Minus ninety. 20, 20, 30, and that's, that. that's right biceps. It's minus sixty, one hundred, sixty. Um, fifty. Right for our is so minus twenty. 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 Okay. I hope I got this, most of these ones right now. So, yeah, that's a, a decent ragdoll. Thank you for watching. Watch the other tutorials where I will animate this with anim follow and also add more limbs. Yeah. Until next time, bye.